I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anson Mount, who portrayed Black Bolt in Marvel's Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, might not be finished with the MCU just yet. Despite the disappointment of the Inhumans TV series in 2017, Mount surprised audiences with his return as Black Bolt in the MCU sequel. Although the version of Black Bolt seen in Doctor Strange 2 didn't survive Wanda Maximoff's actions, there are still potential storylines for the character to explore on both the big and small screens. Mount hinted at a possible return to the MCU in an interview with Radio Times, revealing that he's had informal discussions with Marvel executives about future projects. While he couldn't confirm anything definite, Mount suggested that talks have taken place, though Marvel is currently focused on its ongoing plans. Although nothing has been confirmed, Mount expressed his eagerness to return to the role, particularly because of his enjoyment in portraying the character. I don't know, we'll see. I would love to jump back into the cowl and do it again. I love Black Bolt as a character. Mount's desire to return to the role isn't new. He previously expressed similar sentiments shortly after his character's variant met his demise in Doctor Strange 2. Based on Mount's remarks, it appears unlikely that any potential return of the Inhumans, including Black Bolt, would happen until Phase 7 at the earliest. This phase has been pushed back to around 2027 or 2028, partly due to shifts in release dates for upcoming Avengers films. Marvel Studios might revisit the Inhuman storyline in the future, especially considering they were initially slated for a Phase 3 movie before significant changes occurred within the MCU. Therefore, if Black Bolt does make a comeback, it won't be anytime soon, ruling out any expectations for a cameo in the current Secret Invasion series. Whether Mount reprises his role in Phase 7 or makes a multiversal appearance in a film like Avengers Secret Wars or Deadpool 3, the opportunity to portray Black Bolt again seems like one he would eagerly embrace. It makes sense because Black Bolt is a really strong character who was born into a royal family, and in a big saga like the multiverse one, they're going to need powerful characters like him. Black Agar Boltagon, commonly known as Black Bolt, comes from the secluded Inhuman community of Atalan. His parents, Aegon and Rinda, were prominent geneticists among the Inhumans. Unlike many others who were exposed to the Terrigan Mists later in life, Black Agar was exposed to them while still in the womb, granting him extraordinary abilities. As a baby, Black Bolt struggled to control his powers, inadvertently causing chaos with his energy manipulation abilities. One particularly intense episode led to him nearly destroying Atalan with the sonic energy from his vocal cords. Miraculously surviving the incident, he was found amidst the wreckage and protected by a force field he generated. For the safety of Atalan and its inhabitants, Black Bolt was confined to a soundproof chamber and provided with a specialized suit to help him harness his powers. Under careful guidance, he learned to control his abilities. Upon his release at the age of 19, he faced challenges from his own family, particularly his brother Maximus, who sought to undermine him. With the help of his cousins, Black Bolt proved himself worthy of his destined role as king. Black Bolt possesses remarkable superhuman abilities due to his exposure to the Terrigan Mists. His physical attributes like strength, stamina, durability, and reflexes are all far beyond those of regular Inhumans. Additionally, his speed and agility are enhanced. A unique mechanism in his brain's speech center allows him to produce controlled phenomena using ambient electrons. However, his most devastating power is his quasi-sonic scream. Because this ability is linked to the speech center of his brain, any attempt to vocalize triggers an uncontrollable disturbance in the particle-electron interaction field. At its full strength, his scream can create shockwaves equivalent to nuclear explosions, while even a whisper can shake a battleship. The antenna on his forehead assists in controlling those powers. He can focus his powers inward to enhance his strength and speed, or direct them through his arms as concussive blasts. Black Bolt can also concentrate all available energy into a single punch known as his Master Blow, although this leaves him vulnerable afterward. Using his electron abilities, he can fly at speeds up to 500 miles per hour for six hours, protected by an anti-graviton field. Black Bolt can create nearly impenetrable force fields around himself and utilize his electron abilities for extrasensory perception. He's highly sensitive to electromagnetic phenomena and can disrupt certain electromagnetic mechanisms. Although taxing, he can create solid particle-electron interaction fields that can be traversed. While his immunity to disease is not as strong as that of a regular human, Black Bolt's powers make him an incredibly formidable force. Now, let's talk about the recent revelations from Marvel TV that shed light on why this happened, adding a new layer of understanding to Black Bolt's unexpected fate. Marvel Studios has been noticeably avoiding any references to the Inhumans following the critical failure of their 2017 TV series. The show's single season was plagued by issues such as weak writing and questionable character choices, and since its eight episodes aired, there's been a conspicuous absence of mentions regarding this group of superhumans. While it's understandable that the MCU would want to distance itself from a poorly received series, especially considering the closer ties between the TV shows and the film division with the migration of Disney+, recent revelations highlight just how deliberate and thorough Marvel's efforts have been to distance themselves from the Inhumans. According to the newly released book MCU The Reign of Marvel Studios, Marvel Studios executives have actively implemented guidelines for MCU movies to steer clear of any associations with the failed Inhumans TV show. 
Specifically, during the development of Eternals, the creators were directed to avoid setting any part of the film in Hawaii because the studio wanted to eliminate any risk of audiences being reminded of the Inhumans. Given that a significant portion of the Inhumans show was set in Hawaii, it appears that even revisiting the state was considered too close for comfort in terms of association. Marvel Studios' apparent aversion to the Inhumans TV show takes on a whole new meaning with Anson Mount's Black Bolt cameo in Doctor Strange 2. It's puzzling that Marvel would feature a character from a series they seem eager to distance themselves from. However, when Black Bolt meets his demise at the hands of Scarlet Witch, it almost takes on a darkly comedic tone. While all members of the Illuminati meet grisly ends, Black Bolt's death is particularly vivid and disturbing. If Marvel Studios truly harbors disdain for the Inhumans, as recent reports suggest, then brutally dispatching their king, even in variant form, might symbolize a not-so-subtle rejection of their presence in the MCU. Will the Inhumans ever make a comeback in the MCU? Well, never say never, right? With the MCU diving deep into the multiverse saga, there's always a chance for surprises. But honestly, it's looking pretty unlikely that we'll see them in any big Marvel Studios projects anytime soon. The flop of their previous TV show and the not-so-great vibe surrounding it definitely play a part in that decision. Plus, there's the whole thing with the X-Men. Rumor has it they're finally getting their own movie in Phase 7 of the MCU. And, let's face it, there are some striking similarities between the X-Men and the Inhumans. They're both kind of outcasts, dealing with powers that pop up at awkward times. Puberty, anyone? If the MCU decides to go all in with the X-Men's modern vibe, places like Krakoa and Atalan might start feeling a bit too alike. Back when Fox was running the X-Men show, maybe the Inhumans were just filling the void for Marvel Studios. But now that Disney Marvel owns everything, it's hard to say if the Inhumans will get another shot. They might just end up being a bit of a bummer note in the grand scheme of things for characters who could have had a better shot. Well, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. Are you hoping to see the Inhumans and Black Bolt return to the MCU? Or are you more excited about the potential for the X-Men's arrival? Let us know. And remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all our latest content. Until next time, take care and stay super.